hello everyone and welcome back to glancer before we get started if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update in my previous video i have discussed about what is mean by event and entity resolution and in this particular video i am going to discuss only about predicate argument structure so in one of my previous videos i have said what is mean by predicate argument structure there i have said predicate is nothing but an action and argument is nothing but a entity so any uh, thing that comes under an action is nothing but you will consider it as verb and anything that comes under an entity then you will consider it as noun so it is nothing but verb noun structure okay you are finding the relationship between this verb and noun in a particular given sentence okay so after identifying the word senses entities and events we have to identify the participants of the entities in this events so in um uh, semantic interpretation first what we have done the first thing we have done is you have identified the structural ambiguity and then you have identified the word senses and then you have identified the events and entities now you have to identify the participants in that particular text so that is nothing but predicate argument structure so how you will do this process how you will identify those predicate argument structures in a given text is generally this process can be defined as the identification of who did what to whom when where why and how so if a particular text is given and they ask you to identify the predicate argument structure in it then you the first thing you have to identify is what about what thing we are discussing in that particular text and then comes what they have did and to whom they have did and when they have did where they have did why they have did and how they have did those things maybe in some particular text they haven't mentioned about all these things but they have mentioned only to whom they have did when they have did so that is enough so you don't need to worry about where they have did why they have did and how they have did okay so let's take this example Bell Atlantic Corporation said it will acquire one of the control data corporations computer maintenance businesses so about what we are discussing about whom we are discussing that we are discussing about Bell Atlantic Corporation so that is why i have mentioned i mean they have mentioned here who and what they have said see these particular said will be having different uh, things like when they have said where they have said how they have said with whom they have said but in this particular text they have mentioned only what they have said so you have mentioned here what okay with whom they have said i mean who who said that who said that is nothing but bell atlantic corporation only said that so they have said that what they have said that they will acquire one of the control data corporations computer maintenance business so acquire see this particular acquire can have different things i mean where they have acquired how they are acquired and whom they have acquired when they have acquired but in this particular sentence they have only mentioned what they have acquired okay so what they are going to acquire so one of the control data corporations computer maintenance business they are going to acquire so this is the predicate argument structure this is the representation of that particular uh, predicate argument so in the next video i am going to discuss about what is mean by meaning representation so thank you so much for watching till end uh one thing i would like to say is that i have noticed that many of you were watching my content but haven't subscribed yet if you feel these lectures are really helping you then please consider subscribing to the channel it really motivates me to create more content like this so don't forget to like and share with your friends who might find it helpful thank you